Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action. Well guys, it's an absolutely glorious day here in Las Vegas. Absolutely glorious. Um, yesterday on the weather uh, for around the country here in the US, they had places that they were under snow. I mean, serious snow. And so I'm so grateful for the weather that we have here. I'm so grateful to be experiencing it. So guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. My name's Dr. Hey, one header. Are you the darling? Um, so good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. My name's Dr. Wendy Dearborn, and you can find me at the Laws of Attraction in Action, and that's the Laws of Attraction in Action dot com, and also the Facebook group. For those of you who don't know me and the first time um, actually joining me live here on Facebook, I'm all about choice, the universal law of choice. Everything you do in life is predicated on your choices. So my thing is, you need to choose within the best interest of self so that you can create for self the life that you want to live. But anyway, guys, I want to talk about, I want to talk about briefly um, making choices and creating choices and taking opportunities, actually. I want to talk about taking and making opportunities. Um, making and taking opportunities is something that we do every day. Our lives are filled, absolutely filled, ram, jam, packed with opportunities. And these opportunities, and I've got my, my little faithful notes here. Um, our lives are filled, ram, jam, packed with opportunities. And they really are. Opportunities abound, opportunities are plentiful. The pathways are what opportunities afford us or give to us or show us. Opportunities present pathways that we get to choose to walk down, to experience what it is that we want to experience in life, to manifest what it is that we want to manifest in life. And at the end of the day, this manifestation will be the pot of gold or whatever it is that you think that you will get when your manifestation comes into realization. Many people miss opportunities and I hear people lament about that. They're like, oh my God, I missed this opportunity. But the reality is simply this. Yes, you missed that particular opportunity. And no, that particular opportunity can never present itself again. That's the way of the universe. That's God's universe. That's the way, that's the way it is. Once it's done, it's done. But that does not mean that you will not receive or not get other opportunities that may even be better than the one that you felt that you missed. The name of the game is don't stay in your past. Don't live in in your past. That opportunity that was missed is an opportunity that was missed. You can't live there because once again, you will receive multiple other opportunities that truly might be better than the one that you missed. But if your head's focused on, oh my God, I should have done that, I missed this and blah, 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 you're gonna miss another opportunity. Opportunities will and can only present themselves. They can and will only present themselves when you are ready, when you realize that there's an opportunity to be had. Now that might sound a little convoluted, but it's a fact. If you don't know something, you won't, you won't see it. You won't, when you see it, you won't know it. This is why I always say, in order for you to be loved the way in which you want to be loved, you have to love yourself that way first. In order for you to want anything, you know, like forgiveness, anything, you have to experience it first so that when you see it, you know it. And this is true of opportunities. That's whether we are making them or whether they are being created, whether we are going to take them. It doesn't matter which way around. You, at some level have to consciously be aware of the thing that you want to manifest. And that way, the opportunities, and it's not just one, the opportunities will come. And when these opportunities come, you then get to choose which one you want to take if 
you want to take any at all. Opportunities are there to assist and support you in manifesting your, if you want, your heart's desire or manifesting the thing that you are visualizing. This is what an opportunity is. It gives you the, um, the vehicle to walk down so that you can do the inspired work. Now, don't get it, don't get it twisted. The opportunity is being presented so that you can do inspired work. Opportunity isn't going to do the work for you. It's like a doorway. If you have a door, that door is there for you to walk through. The door's not going to carry you through, 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 through the portal. No, you have to choose it. So guys, when you are taking and making opportunities, understand first that you have literally at a subconscious and conscious level recognized that there's something that you want and you've recognized it. You can see your manifestation, even if you're saying that you can't see it clearly, that you have clarity enough where the universe or whomever your chosen deity is, the universe known to me as God, is going to open a way or make a way so that you can make a choice to go through that door, climb through that window, walk down that pathway, whatever it is. So in life, clarity, clarity, choosing to get clear on what it is that you want will allow you to make opportunities so that you can take opportunities so that you can create the life that you want to live. It's as simple as that. You know, we, for whatever reason, we have been taught that we don't have control over our lives. And that has been something that I personally believe many people haven't been able to um, step into their purpose or um, have the life that they want because somewhere in their mind they fight with this thing that you shouldn't really have that. That's not yours to have. You're not really good enough. Why do you think you should have that? Who do you think you are? Well, you see this, all these things, and it, these, these are things that we need to, I feel, overcome. You, you know, for those of you who know me, and I know my family and my friends will back this one up, more than, and this is really West Indian, more than so, and I really mean this, more, more than so, I don't care what anybody else thinks. I don't care. And while I will take under consideration what people say, if I ask them, if I don't ask you for your opinion, please don't give it because I don't care. And as a result of that, that has actually freed me so that I can spend my energy on, um, on, on getting clarity on what I want in life so that when the opportunities come and when the opportunities opportunities present themselves. I can say, yeah, that one looks good. Or no, I'm a bit scared to go down that pathway. No, I'll do this. No, I'll do that. Spending time, and I'm, I've just gone off on a tangent here, guys, which I'm famous for. Spending time worrying about what people think is futile. It's a waste of energy and it's a waste of your life. Because what they think only matters as much as you allow it. What they think and what they feel about what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing only matters as much as you allow it. So my thing today in, in conjunction with taking opportunities and making opportunities in your life, guys, don't give a hoot what people say. Listen to them. And if it's something that you can use that can assist and support you as you move through life, then fine. If it's not, don't, don't, um, don't attach yourself to it. As I say, and I say this frequently, do not become somebody's lie about you. 
Do not become somebody else's lie or negative thought process about you. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help you. And again, it's their thought process. It's not yours unless you choose it to be. So that being said, guys, get clear on what you want so the opportunities can be presented to you. And they're presented in the way of people, places, and things. People, places, and things. This is how opportunities will be presented to us. People, places, and things. So guys, make your opportunities by getting clear on what you want. And it's crystal clear. The clearer, just let me say this, the clearer you are on what you want is the more defined the opportunity will be. You see, you're the spinner. You're the common denominator in everything. It, your life is all about you, and it's an inside job. If you don't feel right on the inside, whatever you do on the outside is not going to be right. If you're having a bad day, it can be compounded. And you might have seen this. It could be compounded by you go into the bank and you get the teller from hell. You go to the gas pump and there's something wrong with the pump. You go to, um, to the grocery store. The people behind you are the shoppers from hell. The, um, the person who's checking you out, checking out your groceries, they have an attitude that won't quit. And it just compounds. You, if you're, if, if, if you are in control. Literally, you are in control of you. It starts in here. And I'm not going to sit here in front of you guys and say that it's easy. I'm not going to say that because it's not always easy. Sometimes I'll, I will say this. You have a right to feel the way that you do. You have a right to have a real funky attitude. You, you have a right. But when that starts impacting your ability to take and make opportunities for what it is that you want in life, you're spending too much energy there. You're spending too much energy there. You know, guys, give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to do you. Give yourself permission to, to have what it is that you want in life. Too many people and I said this um, on the show this week, too many people are doing things that they don't want to do, but they're doing these things that they don't want to do because they believe it's the right thing to do. And re in reality, it is so wrong. They're doing the things that they don't want to do because they believe it's the right thing to do. They feel duty bound. Your first duty is to self. Your very first duty is to self. Because as I say, and for those of you who listen to me frequent, frequently, you know and you've heard me say this, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I can't breathe for you and you can't breathe for me. If you needed um, the, the kiss of life or mouth-to-mouth or -mouth resuscitation, I could be giving my all, but at the end of the day, one of us is not going to make it and it's going to be you because you cannot live on my carbon dioxide. The same way if we were in a situation and you were eating for me, one of us is not going to make it because, and it will be me because I need to be able to ingest my own food. And so it is with you and your thoughts and life. Your life is about you. It is all about you. And as I posted in the group today, it is a glorious day. It's a glorious life. I am thankful for this day. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. Do you know, and I'm going to wrap up. This morning, um, I came to work and I got in actually early because there were a couple of things that I needed to do. And I want to say I saw four people today who had no legs. Who had no legs. The first person I saw, and I was like, okay, you know, you know, he's in his little wheelchair doing his thing. Second person I saw, again, and all of them were in a wheelchair. And then this one, you know, he was moving about a little bit differently. And they were all men, actually. The third person I saw, I was like, okay, Wendy, what, what's this showing you? What, what, what do you want to get from this experience? 
And the first, per the fourth person I saw, um, he didn't have his his legs where the amputation was. He didn't have them covered. But the foot, and both, all, both of them, sorry, all of them had both their legs amputated. Not just one, both. And I was sitting here getting ready to do this Facebook Live. And I looked and I was like, wow, there's another person. Um, there's another guy, you know, who's an amputee. And I, I was like, wow. And I, in my head I heard, yeah, but they're making it. They're choosing to do it. They haven't allowed this from my perspective to prevent them from getting around, getting to where they want to be. One of them was going to, um, what do you call this, uh, Smith's. One of them was going to a grocery store. The other was going to like um, 7-Eleven. And it hasn't prevented them. And I thought to myself, how many people have pre prevented um, themselves from moving forward in life? How many people literally have paralyzed themselves in life based on what has happened to them? But anyway, guys, that was just a random thought. Making and taking opportunities is all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you being clear so that you can see the opportunities. If you're not clear, you won't be able to see them. So on that note, thanks everybody, Velani, Carl. Um, I hope you had a good time in, in London the other day, Carl. Um, Velani, Tracy, Carl, Elaine, um, Kathy, and everybody else. I, I no, uh, Isa? Uh, everybody else who joined, thank you so much for being with me. Please join the Facebook group. Uh, the Laws of Attraction in Action and also check out the Laws of Attraction in Action dot com. Until next time, guys, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn and and say thank you for this day. It is a glorious day. Incidentally, incidentally, gratitude, the universal law of gratitude, when invoked, creates space so the thing that you want can come into being. Until next time, guys, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Peace. Bye.